Good morning, friends. Celine here. It is new catalog day, um, starting at 12 o'clock um, Mountain Standard Time or, or um, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, we have uh, someone's messaging me privately. That's so funny. Um, anyway, I'm sorry I can't answer our Lucy right now, but I am live. Um, so. I get so excited with the new catalog, I want to show everything, so I had to, um, she's still messaging me, I am live, Lucy, I am live, okay, so, um, we're going to just find this post and share it over so that Lucy can find us, that's so funny, I can't get to it because I have messages popping up. So I gotta wait for them to go away so that I can do them. Ha! Technology is one of those things. Find this post and share Yikes, okay. So I will just do that quickly and then we'll be on our way this morning. Let's see, creating. Yeah, so if I'm live and you message me, I can't see anything. Um, at all. <laughs> Oopsie. So, but that's okay. I'm, I'm usually within like two or three minutes, but good morning. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Mary. So good to see everybody. So, where to start with the new catalog? I am not allowed to show the inside of the book until after 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because that is when the catalog goes live. And I wanted so badly to just open the book today with you and show you all my favorite things and what I am gonna be ordering at 2 p.m. But I couldn't do that. I called and they said, no, you can't show the inside pages until after two o'clock. I said, okay. Um, so I decided to um, play with some of the in colors. I don't know if you can see these really good. I hope you can. It is so, they are so pretty. I can't even, um, even the picture last night didn't do them justice. Um, we got Rocco Rose and um, Terracotta Tile and Seaside Spray and Pretty Peacock and Purple Posy. Now, Purple Posy is such a light purple that I've seen it uh, photographed online places and it almost looks gray some places, but it is this super, super light, beautiful purple. Um, and I have to tell you that the Purple Posy ink pad is all foamy, so Stampin' Up! pulled it. Um, they gave it to us for a uh, pre-order back in April at OnStage, and I haven't been able to play with it since then, so this is so exciting. Um, but I was just inking it up last night to work with it, and it really is foamy. Um, and I just love that Stampin' Up! is so smart that they're going to pull a product that isn't absolutely perfect. So it might be a month, might be a month and a half might be two months, but they are reformulating the whole ink pad so that you guys don't get a foamy ink experience, which doesn't look that pretty. I can show you, I made a card last night with it, see? And you see how it um, it bubbles a little bit? Um, and it's nice that I have it so I can show it off and, and show you the colors, but I think if I were to remake this card, I would stamp it on the actual cardstock color and just punch it out. So these um, designer paper, I will start with the designer paper that the, um, it comes with um, four sheets of each and it's two double-sided designs. So that's eight sheets times five colors. So it's 40 sheets of paper. So you've got a scripty font looking thing oh, that I'm holding upside down. And then you've got um, a, a, like a chicken wire pattern. Um, let me see. The other two patterns is this uh, gingham and um, like an argyle. I like this for guy cards a lot. So what I decided last night and I can uh, for today's live was that I wanted to make, I wanted to show you all the patterns. So I made a card 
in all, so that's the Argyle back, right? In all four patterns in all five colors. Is that not crazy? So I made 16 cards last night and I thought that we might make four together using the color that I didn't grab, which was the Pretty Peacock. I also wanna show you this thing. I know it's backwards text. When I flip the camera, it's gonna, it's gonna work out, but this is a stamp cleaning pad. And it came with some directions that um, made me say, oh, what is it? Um, but do you ever have a photopolymer stamp that you've stamped with and it's pink and you can't seem to get it clean? Well, um, last night I did it on this one and it really made a difference. So we're gonna play with that today too, um, really quick. Hi, Avanel. hi, Joy. Hi, Lucy, I'm so glad you found me, oh my gosh. Yeah, and I, I just hadn't shared it over yet, so that's probably why you couldn't find it. All right, so I'm gonna flip the camera. I think we should just dive right in. I'm so excited. Okay, hang on one sec. I gotta find the button to flip you. Hi, Sharon, good morning, friend. All right, let's see what we got here. So first of all, let's start with what we did last night. I made, um, I don't know if you guys know, but I am part of this blog uh, group, and we make um, a card based on the catalog, and I can't show you the catalog, the inside pages of the catalog just yet. Um, after two o'clock, I'll be able to, but um, we cased a catalog sample from the new catalog, and what I did was I took this square, which was up here, it was like a little rectangle, and I moved it down. Actually, I can probably show you the, uh, I can show you the sketch. So this is what the sketch looked like. So this was the card layout. And what I did was I took this whole piece and just moved it down so that I could make my hot air balloon clouds. These were, um, this bundle is called Above the Clouds. It comes with a punch. And the punch has a little rectangle for making um, flags and uh, the bucket that sits underneath. And this also makes awesome flowers. Um, I was playing with stamping stamping off last night and I made this just messing around. I thought it might be kind of fun to cut out and put like a center or whatever. Um, maybe add it to the Magnolia Suite. Um, anyway, I took these patterned papers and wanted to show you one of each. So this is the new Rocco Rose and there's the scripty background and here is the checkerboard one and here is the argyle and you'll notice that I every single card I made a little bit different um, I did stamp off for my um, for my soft Rocco Rose and I'll show you how to do that in a minute um, for ones that I didn't stamp off you'll see that the image looks a little bit muddy so that's why I decided to stamp off this one's got a little loop on it you see the loop um, and that one I just did a straight ribbon cut at an angle. So you can play with your layouts, but I wanted you to see all four. Okay, so that's the Rocco Rose. Let's jump over to the terracotta tile. I don't want to talk all day about it, but I am excited. Terracotta tile. This is kind of like a dark um, Calypso coral. It. I know it says terracotta, but I see so many other possibilities for this. Um, and uh, I bet you that there's uh, versions of that color in through throughout. But those are the four patterns for this. And again, I this one just has a little flip. And you might see these little um, embellishments here. So let's bring those in. These are uh, the faceted dots. You get six of each, large, medium, and small. Good morning, Mary Jo. Good to see you, friend. Um, oops, piece of hair. Um, so it comes in all five colors and you get six of each. So that's pretty awesome. And I did use them on my cards. So this one we cut at an angle. This one I did like what looks like the breast cancer ribbon. Again, just straight across. And then this time I did my little loop de loop off that edge. Okay, so that's the terracotta tile, right? So let's move on. We got seaside spray. 
I almost call this periwinkle. It's so pretty. So for this one, I didn't stamp off. And for this one, I did. So do you see the difference in the lighter version so that you can see the outline of the um, hot air balloon? I think it made like a big difference. I like, I think I like it stamped off with this particular um, stamp set. And boy, under the lights, these are really popping. Um, I love these little embellishments. Yeah, my mom, I think, would call it periwinkle because it's blue, but it's so pretty. Uh, I, I don't know. It's it's the soft, beautiful blue. It's just, yay, baby. I love new colors. Okay, so that's Seaside Spray. We're going to skip over Pretty Peacock because we're going to use that in a second. And then uh, we're going to look at the Purple Posy. And again, um, the, they are fixing that ink pad. God bless them. I, I don't know how they do all they do for us, but I'm grateful to have the best colors ever. So I, online, I've seen these. It, it, it's it's kind of hard to photograph because it's so light, but um, it looks almost gray when you photograph it. So it's, it's definitely a tricky one. Um, but again, I stamped off. And then you see the bubbles. Um, that is is what needs to be fixed. So thank you Stampin' Up for taking care of us. I had a fourth card there. Huh. Oh well, it must be lost on my table somewhere. So what I did um, when preparing for this morning was I cut 20 card bases and then I cut uh, one of each sheet of designer paper. So I have some leftovers actually, here, hang on. I'll show you. Um, so later in the week, you might see me playing with just the cutoffs because what I did was I cut this down to five by three and three quarters. So to make my 20 cards, I used half a pack of this designer series paper. So I still have the other half. And I used enough um, of these little bling blings to put on four of the projects. So um, I'll have enough to make two more cards each with these or um, add them to additional projects. So these I might use later on in the week um, to make additional projects because I don't want to waste a thing. Excuse my heat if you can hear it. I know it's June and it's 70 degrees here and I am still cold. So it is what it is. So I, I made these card bases last night and they are the thick whisper white. Takes a little bit of, um, I'm gonna push that. Takes a little bit to get them folded. I always, when you score a piece of paper, it leaves like an indent. And then on the other side, it leaves a hump. Let me see if I can show you. That's better. I always fold towards the hump so that if anything's gonna stand up, that that's inside my card and then the part that was indented is here and it keeps it nice and um, neat and a clean line on the outside of my card. Kind of dorky, crafty, aren't I? All right, so let's just put a little bit of adhesive. This just happens to be what I have on the table. Yes, I am a fast fuse hoarder. Um, and we're gonna stick these down. I So again, I used that layout from page 147 if you have the new catalog. Oh, that was fun. Here, let me see if I can find more adhesive. All right, so I found some snail, here we go. <laughs> Switching over. Can't make this stuff up. Only when you're live. And hey, at least I'm not wrapped in ribbon today. I've done that live. Okay, so that's the Argyle one. And then here is, this is gonna be the script one. Now, when you put the script one down, you kinda have to eyeball it and make sure that up, your face up and that you can read your words. Cause it would look kinda goofy if you put that one upside down. Again, I'm speaking from experience there. My favorite is when I put a card together and then it's that way and then it opens backwards. Okie doke. So I got all four in place. And then last night I used um, my, I must have put it away. Huh? 
Wonders never see. Oh, there it is. I didn't. I used my Sahara sand to stamp the base of my hot air balloon on 20 or so uh, three and a quarter by two and a quarter inch pieces of white. And then I took my crumb cake and stamped a topper. And here you can see my stained stamp. Um, let's give it a clean. I'm gonna grab my um, mist and step over the fast fuse I threw on the floor. Yay. Whoops. That could have ended up on my project. So we'll clean that, wash and dry, and let's see what it looks like. It did come pretty clean, which is pretty good. I, I cleaned it with that, uh, that pad last night. Okay, so it's a little bit stained, right? Let's just take the stamp cleaning pad real quick and see if we can get it to come a little bit cleaner. So the directions on this said, wash with water right after you clean, but I don't usually put water on my stamps, so I don't know how that's gonna work, but I'm gonna um, work this in a little bit. And this sat overnight with that stuff, on, like with the ink on it, so um, it may not come as clean. I really wanna test this bad boy out. Well, Leslie, I'm so glad you're here, honey. I know you always catch me on the replay. I love that too. But it's so much more fun when I can talk to you. Um, let's see. I'm always cold. I think it's 80 degrees out and I'm the only one with a sweater on. Okay, so let's take a look at the back of that stamp now. So it did, it removed um, some of the stains that you get. Um, I'd love to try it with, you know, some of my stamps that are totally pink that are never gonna come clean again. But moving back, I did Sahara Sand as the base here and then Crumb Cake. And now I want to open up my blue, whatever color that is. I, I don't even remember the names of the colors yet. Uh, oh. It's right in front of me. I'm like, where is my pretty peacock ink pad? All right, I really do need to pick up this fast piece because you know I'm gonna step on it. All right, such a goof. We're gonna bring in a Stampin' mat, which also disappeared from the table. I had one here. You see all my broken fingernails? My girl Chrissy, she's got to take care of me. I'm, I was busy, busy. I am designing, um, well, I designed over the weekend the 16 projects for that quarterly event that's coming up. About a third, a little over a third of the packets are spoken for. It's great for demonstrators as class planners, and it's great for customers. Okay, so I got my paper, and I have my stamp looks like it's dirty. Oh, it is a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to use such a dark color. It's not going to matter. So this is the Pretty Peacock. I have not opened this yet. It looks ultra juicy. Look at, look at the, look at the ink on the inside. It's like, oof. Okay. So for this one, because I want the balloon to show up and it seems really, really dark, I'm going to stamp off. Oh, it's so pretty. I think this one's gonna be my favorite. I love all the colors, but wow. This is so like, it's, it's, uh, it's lush. There's my word for the day. Oh my goodness. Seriously, you can't fake that kind of excitement. This just makes me so happy. I love new colors. But uh, stamping off is pretty cool. Um, and if you wanted to, when you were on a separate piece of paper, you could line up a, a piece of Whisper White to do your stamping off, and then have another um, flower petal, or make something crazy out of it, right? Like, all I can think of is the fan sisters. Here we go. All right, so I got my four 
hot air balloons. And now I'm gonna stamp the top of them. Here we go. So pretty. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. I wanted to use this one. So there are two hot air balloon um, tops in this set. Here's the set. It's got um, five sentiments and um, the inside of the hot air balloon, some birds, a flower, some clouds, um, a flag that you could put off the top of the hot air balloon. This is a banner you can hang across the front, um, and of course that marries up to the punch that we that we looked at earlier that has the little um, triangles, so that the triangles would go across to make a banner. Um, and then far away in the distance, hot air balloons, but I kind of wanted to use this one because it's um, so, I don't know, like regal, like our color. These words also fit inside this one, um, but I, because I was following that sketch challenge, I went with a one and three eighths inch square for my sentiments. And what I did for the other four sets was I picked a sentiment for each. Um, like this one was, you're off to great places. These will probably end up at the florist because I have a florist near my house that sells my cards. So that I can go visit, I have a I have a downline in in uh, Sacramento. Uh, her name is Song Sook, and she has been on my team for a long time. I want to say eight years, and I always want to go see her, but I never have the money. So I've been selling cards at a florist, and I have two hundred and seventy dollars saved since October. And when I have enough, I'm going out there to go see my my girl and to her team. I love them all. Um, and some of them are hobbyists. You, um, everybody's welcome here. We, uh, I, I am cutting a little because I, I'm, I'm weird. The, the, the piece of bottom that needs to be cut. I don't want to interfere with the bucket or the, the rectangle. Does that make sense? All right, so we're just cutting in, and this is like, it seems like it's still wet, so I'm being kind of careful here because I don't want to smudge or end up with ink everywhere. I'm trying to get your comments on my computer and it's being funny, so I'll have to stand up if I want to see what you're saying. But for this fourth set, see I forgot to cut off the sides and I got that flap flap back that's okay just make this makes the table more festive you can make some confetti yay too funny like I said it's way more fun when I can see your comments because then I feel like we're chatting let me see if I can get in there now I can see you Oh, and I see Ella right away. Hi, Ella. So uh, for those of you that don't have a catalog yet, dude, reach out to me. I am here waiting to mail you one. I am so excited. I bought 16 boxes on top of the ones that I, um, that I just had Stampin' Up! mail. Stampin' Up! actually mailed probably 40 for me. And then 16 boxes, 8 boxes a piece. I don't know. That's math. Okay, so let's see what I got. So I'm going to put a few dimensionals on these. And you might wonder why I use so many. Um, for those of you that know me, it, I will tell you it's all about the right support. There is nothing worse then find in a card that you made in the drawer a year from now and one side is drooping because I put one dimensional in the center and ugh. So, gotta have the right support back there. Hey, good morning, Tammy. Sunny Southwest Washington. Is that Washington State or Washington, D.C.? Ooh, 
Ooh, a flower pot. I like that idea. Well, last night as I was uh, as I was playing with this set, I was thinking, um, now that we're on a white background, hey, light bulb, I have an idea. <laughs> so we could make light bulbs from it too. And then I was thinking about the materials that I could use on, on a card to get the, uh, the light bulb bottom made. You know, like a silver or a gold ribbon or um, maybe like use a crimper to make one um, out of silver or gold paper. Hey, the construction kids might be here. My mother-in-law's having construction um, on the house and he always likes to show up on Tuesday mornings. It's okay, he sings Jingle Bells. I told him he was famous. Can you order the in color stamp combo? Um, well, I'm gonna say no because the posy color has to be redone. Um, that's just my, I, I'm, I, it, the ordering isn't open yet, so I can't go test it to tell you, but I don't think it is. I think that they're, uh, we have to wait for those. I, I have to wait to get new pads too. I got mine, um, on that pre-order. So this is a little bit about edging. Um, I wanted to add more layers, but my sketch didn't have a lot of layers. Like I could have matted these layers and added another layer of paper behind them. But instead, I am going to, and by the way, we gotta wait till two o'clock and then we can order the in colors. So the paper's available, I think everything but that posy ink pad's available. So if, it, if the combo had the posy ink pad in it, then that probably is not available. So you see it against the white here? It's awful cool. So you can add a layer of color to your image without actually adding a layer. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the square. Actually, I'm gonna do the same thing to four squares because I want actually three squares. And then we'll come up with a different shape for the other thing. Ooh, that one's a little thick, but it's fine. So this just gives, um, when the, the layers overlap white on white and I don't wanna cut another layer, it's another cool way to add a quick um, layer for your eye that's not an actual layer. And what did I do with the ink pad? That was special. I must have put it away safe, you know. <sighs> That's all good, we'll find it in a minute. So I'll peel off a couple of dimensionals and you know my trick, even though I use 9,000 dimensionals, I don't need to peel them all off. I only need three or four just to get it into place and it'll be sticky and I'll have the right height. That's what it's all about. And here all these years, I thought it was the hokey pokey. All right. Hi to the construction people outside. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of sentiments with this stamp. Oh, yeah, I need the other ink pad if I'm gonna do that, or they'll be in crumb cake. Crumb cake's a good color though, and it goes really great. The Both the crumb cake and the um, Sahara sand go really great with these. So here we go. Life is a beautiful ride. And while I have the ink in front of me, I think I'll do the other cards. So this one is Let Your Dreams Soar. Wouldn't this be a great um, graduation card? It's perfect for this time of year. And I know there was another one on the table here. Yep, here we go. I am like Dory, so I already forgot what they say and it's a surprise every time. Oh, I love this one. This, this is probably my favorite one, actually. We rise by lifting others. I can't help but think of my team. I love them so much. I have a lot of people on my team that um, are just hobbyists. They buy for their own discount, and we love them. Um, and they get the discount, and they are part of the family, which is awesome. Ordering is open. 
Oh my gosh. Nuh-uh. I'm so excited. Oh, when I get off my live now, I'm going to want to go right over and place an order. But I can't do that because right after my live here, I go over and do a chat with my team. But that might be a short chat if I can place an order. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I am cutting a piece of this matching ribbon. So this comes in all five of the in colors. This one is the, the um, ugh, I'm, I'm pretty peacock. Oh my goodness, isn't it beautiful? Surprise, we'll get our stuff a day early. Like I will get anything done on, well so I, when I, when the new catalog comes out I always expedite, but I have classes on Thursday so I wouldn't be able to open anything while people were here. And those classes, by the way, are available to go. I have a lot of demonstrators that get them as class planners. You can give my directions free with any $50 order and I don't put my name on the PDFs so that you can use them in your classes. Let's see. So that's number one, let your dreams soar. And we can pull in these cute dots. It's so hard to decide what to show you because I've already got um, four, five complete classes designed, six really, if you consider the, the team meeting that I did. And I want to show all of it, but I, I have to save some for my quarterly, so that will be pretty awesome. So that's the first one. And then the second one, and you know, so on, goes together fairly quick. Um, because I've already done all of my um, stamping and my dimensionals. So then we just have to um, edge. So this is going to add another layer, right? Without having to cut paper. I just wanted some color there. And we can stick that down. So it's really the same layout. So pretty. And again, I don't need to peel all these off. Three would do. Maybe four, we'll see. Yeah, I'll do four. Just because they're fun to peel off, right? But if you're in a hurry, you don't need to peel them all off. Really, the reason that you put that many dimensionals is just the height. We rise by lifting others. This one, maybe we should make a, um, a loop-de-loop. So we'll stick this to itself. Because it seems like a lift. Yeah, I'm putting a little adhesive on there. I just want to make sure it sticks. <laughs> okay. We got this. And, oops. That's a good little feature. You gotta make sure that this is on when you put it in your purse so that it doesn't stick. But, um, let's see. Well, Sharon, you can live vicariously through me, girlfriend. I'll have my stuff at the end of the week. I'll be working on my display boards. I could show you guys my display boards. Do you wanna see them? I made, um, four or five of them so far with uh, products. If you want to see them, just shout out and I'll grab them. I did one for the, um, to go with my class this week, the Bird Ballad. That's the first class of the book. You know, I'm not typically a bird person, but um, these birds aren't creepy, so <laughs> they're adorable. And they're all over the internet, so you, Lots of, lots of uh, inspiration with that set. Let's see. I should have grabbed my um, take your pick tool because it would be easier to put these on. Okay, same thing, edging. So I made 20 cards for the new book for the in colors already and I can't wait to just stick these on a display board for the quarterly. Use the balloon and the let your dream short. Yeah, yeah, the let your dream soar is an awesome graduation um, 
card. Let's see. And then we need the little basket again. So simple, so easy. And I love anything with a punch. I mean, I love framelits. I do, or dies, or whatever we're calling them now. <laughs> I love all of that, but these, um, they're so quick and easy. Anything with a punch is in my life is a bit, so I like this. So for this one, I'm gonna take this, and instead of having it up here like the sketch, I'm gonna move it down so that it's equidistance um, that way. And I don't know, like where could, we could put a piece of ribbon just like there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. It's kind of sneak, uh, sneaky, huh? Using the cutoffs. Gonna love it. I love using every bit of leftover stuff. Okay. And then... <laughs> I... Leslie, I think I get it from my grandmother. Um, it's like one of those things that they pass down. <laughs> I think she was creeped out by birds. Although she, have you ever, um, you know Morticia Adams, right? From the Adams family. She would buy flowers and cut the roses off and keep the greens. My grandmother would do that because it reminded her of Ireland. Because my whole family, my mom is from Ireland. Um, I am first generation Irish. She, she's actually an Irish citizen still. We, we, I tried to help her get her citizenship. Oh, see, look, the glue dot came off of that one. No problem. We'll put the glue dot down, and we'll put the embellishment on top. Done. Um, and and it came back that she couldn't... Um, it, it came back declined, but it didn't tell me what, what we did wrong. So it makes it kind of tough with the paperwork because it's like a book that you send in. Um and she probably knows more about the United States than I do. She's been here forever. It's crazy. All right, so one more. Here we go. Oh my God, Denise, thank you. She saw my display board. So, I, so you think I should show everybody my display boards, huh? All right, when, when, we, when I finish this card, we'll take a quick tour of them. I can't wait to make more. So while I am waiting for my pre-order to show, or my first, catalog order to show up. Um, tomorrow, what's on the docket is I have probably enough to do like two more suites and then I have to wait for my shipment. So if I do my suites, I want to, I'd like to have all 12 done by the, by the party on the 15th so that people can come and be inspired and touch and feel and see all the new things. They're really cool. They're product boards. Um, so this one, there's a, uh, there's a sentiment. Oh, I think I put it back. I did. Jeez, I put something away. Maybe we could, should we put it right on or should we, let's see. I don't know if it'll fit like, well, it will, but it kind of overlaps a little. I'm going to grab a piece of white scrap here and pull in the peacock ink pad again and I don't know what you call this but I call it the pencil punch because it looks like a double-sided pencil to me um, so we'll just it seems like a great fit for this you're off to great places hopefully I'm not off to smudge because I went too fast Yeah, and you know, it's funny, Sharon, that you say that. She's talking about um, how her husband doesn't like real birds if they get too close because they could peck his head. I, the worst is my mom would say it's good luck if a bird like poops on you, and it's all fun and games until that really happens because I don't think it's good luck. <laughs> that's, that's to make you feel better, perhaps. You're off to great places. We are off to an awesome new catalog. I am so excited to um, 
have a year's worth of products to share with you guys. I don't know if it's going to take me a year. I'm, I'm almost through um, five of the product suites on my little display board things. So um, to give you a size reference, these display boards are tiny. They're, um, they're 14 by 22, so 14 inches tall. So consider, you know, an eight and a half by 11, a little bit taller than that. And then it opens up to 22 inches wide. So they look big on camera, but they're actually pretty small. And I have them in a, um, actually here, I can show you. Well, I have them in a, in a bag, but I'll have to move the camera. So I'm upside down. So I have them in a bag. They're right here. And um, one of them is actually set up up top. So this is my Magnolia one, and I, I have a piece of paper cut and waiting for the um, 3D embossing folder that I am gonna order today. But it shows all of the stamped images and all of the framelets. So that, that was a framelet, but I thought it was so big I didn't wanna have to put two on the display board. And this thing, it, it cuts um, a, a layer into your card, and you can make like a decorative edge on your card and then the designer paper these are cut to two by two okay so there's those all right and then I'm sorry I'm gonna cover the camera so I don't make anybody dizzy um, in a second but the, this is the ribbon that goes with it there's a um, you get two spools five yards of each and I love that the display has what everything comes with uh, 20 pieces five flowers 10 large leaves uh, and six tags. Five flowers, that seems, f oh no, five tags, five flowers, 10 leaves, that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm gonna cover the, this again so I don't make anybody dizzy walking around and I'll pull out the other display boards and I'll clip back in. That's like the most brilliant thing I've ever thought of to put my hand over it so that I'm not walking around making everybody dizzy. Sorry, we're swaying here. Woo. Okay. All right. So this is follow your art, and um, I understand that it's meant to be an in-person display board. So I have some additional things to show. Um, the follow your art has a really cute embossing folder that is buttons and uh, washi tape, and then they have these mini shipping boxes, and they come just like a Stampin' Up! box would. Happy little love, and um, I taped the top. The bottom opens like a normal box, um, but the top opens just like one of our shipping boxes. So if I was gonna use this in an event to give people, um, or, or to even just to give someone a gift, I might tell them to leave the washi tape on the top and to open it from the bottom because that's it's kind of pretty the way it goes together. Um, so that goes there. Um, and then it comes with uh, an embellishment kit. Now the embellishment kit comes in this cute little box so you could make someone a bunch of cards with it and then put the cards in the box and gift the box. It's like a very cool gift. And um, there's six of each of these embellishments. I gotta come closer so you can see them. They're little, but they're so pretty. I mean, I'll put my fingernail beside so you can get an idea. Um, they're they're little little but here um, made with love and two paper clips so you get six of each of those three things and then you get three yards each of this uh, linen so all of those little embellishments come in here plus you get uh, four colors of felt accents so what I did was I took the four colors out and put them on the board so you could see and then just adhered the one sheet that I thought that I wouldn't use that color because <laughs> um, I need the pink and the coral and the blue you know I'll be making stuff with these and then um, again the designer series paper in two inch squares so at my um, catalog launch on the 15th I will have um, sheets available pre-cut I'll only have 16 of them for demonstrators that want or even customers that want to have um, a way to show your paper and I'll, I'll show those later this week when I have them finished because I want to make sure that I can display all the colors all right so that's the art one 
Ah, the perennial essence. I struggled with this when I was designing, and then I started playing with um, the vellum in this, and oh my goodness, they are so beautiful. This is an element from one of the cards that we'll be making on the 15th, and again, um, it's available for sale. I stamped this three times and just fussy cut that out by hand, uh, so it's one piece, um, and that is on right on the vellum. If you, it's, it, it would be really easy to make a mess with the vellum because it takes a few minutes for stamped images to dry. You can dry it with heat setting one with the heat gun, um, but I just stamped on this, let it dry, and then put it in the bag. But I didn't let it dry long enough because you can see that it's still wet in there, but I just left it. Um, I wanted to show the three colors and how pretty they are. The vellum is gonna be, I think, huge for me. I mean, I made the, the leaves out of the vellum. Aren't they beautiful? Um, and then I put all of these on one block and stamped them. Um, it's all the images in the set except for this one, which when stamped three times makes that flower, if that makes sense. And then you could stamp and punch out three separate images and put them together. So another example of that, we made this one at on stage. Now, I will tell you, there's a there's a front and a back to these. You definitely want to stamp on the front. My husband actually made this card at on stage, and I'll show you the one that I made. Um, we he came to on stage in New Jersey with me when we made these. So this is the the front of mine, and this is the front of his. So he accidentally, I think, stamped the back, and um, it's definitely a different color so be careful when you're using your uh, vellum so that's kind of a good little tip let's see what we got here so this is bird ballad this is the one that you can get um, it's free with a $27 order um, I will send you four projects uh, with made with the stamp set complete PDF that you can use if you're a demonstrator in classes you can give with a $50 order if you're a demonstrator or if you just want to make some pretty cards and have some fun and you place an order, I will send you this card kit. Um, there is a host code for it, so if you don't have that, let me know. Um, the little trinkets that go with these are just darling. I have a card that I made to go with that. Hang on, let me grab it. I didn't unpack from last, last week yet, so here, let's but I made this card with it. And it's just a plain uh, vanilla card in, on the inside. I cut an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch. So it's five and a quarter by four and a half, but then I took a sixteenth of an inch off so it would, it would glue inside with a little liquid glue. And um, how they come is like this. So you, you would need to put something behind it. So I just, I, I like I like it neutral and then I cut this out of the designer paper um, and that is one of the trinkets I cut a white ribbon down really really thin and sliced up to to thread the uh, to thread the key on but so pretty I love all of the elements of the suite and again beautiful designer paper uh, the, it comes with nine dies one is just a, a stitch that you can put in a card and then the rest of them um, are nested that one shape, and it's awesome. Let's see. And then the last one that I made was the Come Sail Away. And again, I have a piece of paper that's waiting to be embossed once I get my embossing folder. Um, and then this board will be complete. But I did the stamped images and the, and the die cut images. So there's a die for almost everything in this set. You can um, stamp and... Uh, cut out your lighthouses and your sailboats and the anchor they're beautiful and then these trinkets are fabulous I have uh, some tips and tricks when using these in the quarterly event and then this I tried to get on the display board so that it looked like the stamp so the sailors not and it it does it's close but it's it's a little bit it it gets loose and tight, you know what I mean? But beautiful, beautiful products to work with. 
And if you haven't seen the memories and more that go with that, don't think about it. Just order it. They're beautiful. I can't wait to play with mine. So that was a lot, huh? I, I could have showed you the inside of the catalog, but that was pretty close. <laughs> Um, I had five of those boards done, so that's pretty good. Hang on, I'm going to flip over and we can have a quick chat. Alrighty. Ah. That's the other clip. It's all good. I'll just move over here. So, um, yeah, what a awesome awesome book. Um, I think that it is geared towards people like me who love to craft all day and I can't ever see myself getting sick of the products in here. In fact, today I have a couple things that were not able to be pre-ordered that I got to go push the button on. So um, I can't wait to see you guys next week. If there's anything that you uh, want me to cover Please uh, reach out to me and let me know because I have an ongoing list of things that I uh, need to cover in my lives. And um, I thought just an introduction to In Colors today would be good. And I will post those cards out. I have 20 cards made with the new In Colors. So. And it's all that one layout and one stamp set. So kind of fun. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, and I hope you have a great week. And let me know. Talk to you soon.